having the right keywords in your Etsy listing can either help your shop be visible or have your shop be hidden from shoppers who are ready to purchase. And I wanna share with you my strategy I use to help me grow one of my new Etsy shops. As you can see here, over 300 sales in the past 30 days with only 60 listings. And I wanna share with you my keyword strategy so you can start getting traffic to your shop as well. So when we are trying to find keywords we want to use for our products, we really have to learn from best-selling designs to see what is selling well, because obviously people are typing those things in to get to those products. So in our case today, I like to search up extremely broad at first. So I'll put teacher shirt just as a way of example. And typically you'll go down and see which ones are best sellers. We see that easily with the best sellers badge. But again, with the FRB tool, we can go in a little bit further and see some more additional information in regards to what items are selling well. And one of the things I look for is how many you know products have been sold in, in the last 30 days. And I like to compare that also with the listing age to, to see what has been listed recently. So you can do this by month to see the amount of sales, or if you want to catch trends that are just released, I like to go to listing age as well and see what type of products are doing well in regards to sales. I see this one here two months old. I can click on this because it has received 124 sales in the lifetime of a listing. And I'll share with you just not how to find these best selling products, but also how to see their keywords to see how they're getting this traffic to drive in sales. If you have not tried out Everbe, you need to check this program out for your Etsy shop. It is a wonderful tool to help you identify what type of products are doing well. It takes out the guessing game so you can prove all things with data before you design and launch your products. And Everbe is so useful because it keeps you right in the Etsy platform itself where you only simply have to click a button and you're able to see all of the analytical data, just not with the sales, but also with the keywords that can help you drive sales to your product. Check out my link down below where I share with you all that you need to do to get started utilizing Everbee for your print on demand business. All right, so here's the product that we have in front of us. We see some great data points in regards to how well this product is doing. I see the best sellers badge and I see the high demand letting us know two people bought this in the last 24 hours. Now I can learn from the listing in regards to titles, but again, I want to learn what keywords you're using because that is going to further bring in traffic to this product. And with the Everbee tool, I can analyze this data even further to see what keywords you're using and what keywords are actually driving traffic to get them these type of sales. All right, so from here we have this information up and we see this is listed in the last two months, we receive 183 sales in the lifetime of the listing, but just in the last 30 days it has received 124 sales. That means obviously there's something about this product here that is doing well, I can learn from and incorporate into my designs. But when we go down a little bit further here, we can scroll down and see the tags they're using for this product. So if you ever had a question about what tag should I use, one of the things I always talk about is learning from the listing to see what tags they're using, but also understand that the tags I need to use need to be related to what my product is. So yes, we definitely want the search value to be high, but we definitely want to make sure that the keywords we're using are relatable to my product. And so I don't typically just go here and copy the entire tags because there might be some things that's not related to my product. However, if it is related, I definitely want to utilize that in my listing. Now, ever be give us a couple of helpful things so we can make the best decision possible in regards to which keywords we can grab from this best selling product. We see the keywords here that's, just, that's being utilized. We see the search volume and the level of competition. Now, specifically, I'm not concerned about the level of competition. I'm more so concerned about, first of all, relatability. How relevant is this to my listing? And what is the search volume searchability? Is this something people are actually typing in? And so if I am creating a similar teacher shirt, I know that I want things that's related to a teacher and we see this specific listing have all things related to a teacher and they're getting tons of views on their specific keywords being used. So we have teacher gift, gift for teacher. We can go down here and have teacher t-shirt, kindergarten teacher. Now, if my product was more so geared towards a high school history teacher, then obviously I would not initially use this kindergarten teacher tag because that is irrelevant to what my product is. Even though the search volume is high, it's not relevant to what my product is and can actually hurt my listing if people come on here looking for a kindergarten t-shirt, but the product I am selling is a history 
t-shirt. Now, when I am doing my product research as well as keyword research, I like to open up several different products that are in my category or my niche so I can learn from multiple listings, just not one specific listing, because I think we can learn things from multiple best-selling products that we can incorporate into our keywords for our titles and tags. And obviously, we do want to check to make sure everything that we use here is driving in sales, like this product here, five months, but it has received a total of 3,644 sales. This product here has been around for 13 months, almost 2,000 sales. This product as well, 12 months, almost 1,500 sales. So there's something we can learn from these listings that have all been doing extremely well in the past year or so. And so when I have multiple best-selling products up, I'm able to learn from the listing just not what design styles are doing well but in today's video what keywords are driving in sales that we may not have found just looking at one listing now again we need to be mindful that whatever product that we have in design that we have we need to make sure that the title and the keywords are marrying well with what our design is again if we're selling a fifth grade teacher shirt but we have a kindergarten uh tag in here it's not going to be related to what our product is and again can hurt our listing but as you can see here putting in the specific phrase can also be extremely helpful if it is something that is popular for instance here this shirt says in my teacher era so we definitely want to incorporate popular phrases into our tags as well as we can see here in my teacher era is receiving almost a thousand searches per month and again teacher name shirt is a popular phrase people are typing in to get these customized teacher shirts so typically if we're creating a personalized t-shirt we'll put custom t-shirt or personalized teacher shirt but what we understand from the data here people are literally typing in custom teacher shirt or teacher name shirt both can help us drive specific traffic to our product if we are delivering that specific product now once we found keywords that actually work for us we can actually copy them simply by clicking on the specific keyword we want to use and they'll save that to our clipboard and we can literally paste over into our own etsy listing and sometimes what i like to do as well is copy the entire listing here in regards to tags and plug them over in a separate file if i am creating multiple products in this specific niche again if this product is a best selling product and i see here that the keywords they're using is related to my design space and the search volume here is strong i definitely want to tuck those keywords away so that when i am creating in this niche again i already have at the ready keywords i can use for my specific products that are already proven to drive in tons of traffic now again like i said this is something that we would do just not for one product but for multiple products but as we do this we always need to make sure that the keyword is related to what our design is for instance here if we're creating a happy friday shirt or friday shirt again having that popular phrase in the tags can be helpful however what is not helpful if i have them in my tags in my teacher era because that is not related to what my product is that's why i'm not a huge fan of simply just copying tags from one listing because again that may not be totally related to what my product is i need to do my due diligence and learn specifically what is doing well but also what is related to what my product is. So again, once you have your keywords for your listing, all you have to do here is just simply click on this and plug it into your Etsy listing. And you'll go one by one, adding in specific keywords in your tags that's related to your product. And one side note as well is that a helpful hint that I learned to work well for my products is that whatever is in the title needs to also be reflective in the tags. This particular phrase is in the tags and it's also in the specific title as well these two things need to be present in order for there to be a strong seo value in regards to how your product is being visible on etsy so this is one of the steps i use to drive traffic to one of my brand new etsy shops where i was able to generate over 300 sales in the past 30 days when as you can see about 60 products and so if you want to learn more about how to grow your etsy shop check out my free etsy course down below as well as subscribe to my channel to learn more about how you can start growing your own Etsy business today to start making income online. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.